Well, today we are going to be continuing on with our how to make uh, uh, pastrami, or actually corned beef is what we're finishing right here. Uh, we've got we've had our uh, beef, our brisket, submerged in our brine. It's been about two weeks now, and uh, so it should be good and uh, cured in our curing salt and all that kind of stuff. Our other spices that we put in there a couple weeks ago, if you watched our first video, you can find that. If you haven't watched it, you can find it right up here in the right hand corner. And I might suggest that you go, want to go watch that first. And then, so it's been submerged in our brine for two weeks. So that means we should have corned beef ready to go here. And uh, I, if you also watched that first video, you saw that I broke down my brisket into the point and the flat. And so I do have my point and the flat pieces over here in the uh, brine right now. And we're getting ready to open it up and take a look and see what we've got here. And so let's get turned around and see how we're going to go about doing this. Okay, so the lid's kind of dirty and that's because it's been sitting outside in the cold and the cool for about two weeks. I'm going to try to keep my fat head out of this so you folks can see. Now then, after two weeks, our brine, it kind of looks like, um, almost like coffee, except for a few floaters there, which uh, mostly appears to be fat, if you want to know the truth. And I think what I need to do, I need to take this over to my sink, or maybe outside somewhere, and I need to dump off some of that liquid, and I think that's what I'll do, or else I'll probably just make a big mess here in just a minute. I'll be right back after I dump some of this out. All right, so there we go. Now we've got our two pieces of beef in here. And I did flip these over uh, after about 24 hours just to make sure that, um, that I was going to uh, get brine between the two pieces. I don't want all these uh, spices and whatnot. Now this is our this is our flat, and if you looked at the video first video, you see where I cut that corner off of there, so I could identify my my flat, and also the direction of the grain. Although I can right now I can still see this grain. I'll put that right up here on our pan. And then that means, if that's the flat, this has to be the point. And the point, I'm going to save for some pastrami that I'll be making probably in a couple of weeks. Alright, so I think it looks pretty good. I'm using this for pastrami because it's the fattier of the two pieces. Put that up on our pan as well. Alright, so let me get things turned around. Okay, so I'm going to take some paper towels here. Well, well, I should actually maybe rinse these off real quick. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to rinse these off and get all the spices off the outside of them. I don't think that's needed any longer. It's not going to help anything in the future. Let me just go ahead and do that over here at the sink real quick. And we'll be right back. Okay, so surprisingly to me, um, some of this has become very well adhered to the meat. Um, now I did... Uh, find that removing that came off it, it came off better using my spray attachment on the sink um, but as you can see there's still a few pieces here I'm not going to get too crazy bit about it I mean if it was bad for you you wouldn't be putting it on there in the first place and mostly it was the fat that held it on here, if you see on this back side of this uh, point here. 
fattier of the two. You see it has quite a bit more of the spice and you see how kind of tenacious it, tenacious it is on coming off of there. Kind of odd. But, like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy about removing it. I'll just deal with it. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this off. At least somewhat. Because some of this is going to be frozen for a time. This is a lot of meat. It's not all going to get eaten at once. Before I do that, however, I'm going to take my serrated brisket knife here. I'm going to cut a good hunk off of here. About like so. And here's my side right here. This is the point. And I'm going to cut this right off like that. And we want to see what I want. I want to see. I'm curious. What all this looks like on the inside. Plus, I'm going to be using... Oh, look at that. How beautiful is that? And as I was saying, I'm going to be using a good hunk of this today for, as I said, it is uh, January 1st. And so I'm going to be using this right here. And I'm going to make uh, corned beef with cabbage today. By the way, doing a little research, corned beef and cabbage is an American thing. It is not a traditional Irish thing. All right, so there we go. That is our corned beef in the raw state. Uh, to finish it off, you need to cook this for about four hours, usually um, in a simmering or yeah, a simmering pot of water. Also, uh, you might want to let it soak for an hour or so in water prior to in order to help get some of the salt in out of it if you're not a fan of the salty meat. So there we go folks. There is our finished product as far as our corned beef is concerned. In a couple weeks. Actually I'm going to go ahead and make another video right now as soon as I complete this one where I use this part to be making our corned beef with cabbage and this will become a video later on the making of pastrami. So stay tuned. Alright folks, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, two set, or two part I should say, um, video on how to make your own pastrami, or I should say corned beef, so far it's corned beef. How to make corned beef and pastrami at home. And uh, like I said, this is part two, and we will be continuing on uh, the next one will be how to make use your corned beef to make um, corned beef with cabbage. I'll also continue on with some of this corned beef, how to make corned beef uh, sandwiches, and then also how to make pastrami. So this is kind of going to get split into three continuing parts from here. All right. So hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing, and if you do. Do me a favor, down here in the bottom right hand corner, hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned, there's always more to come. And thanks for watching.